Hey, it's Derek Waller. We've got a thousand step workout. I'm not even going to waste any of your time. Let's just get started. I'm going to get the timer right now. We're going 11 minutes. Let's start walking in place. So, we're doing a thousand step workout. I actually did this workout uh, about a half hour ago and did about 1,250 steps. So, based on your current fitness level, you may be more, you may be less. But a thousand is the baseline. We're doing it in just 11 minutes. Let's keep walking in place, pumping those arms. We're going to get an awesome workout without having to do any of the high impact stuff, without having to go outside and go for a long run. I'm doing it right here in my basement, in my workout room. I'm happy that you're following along, all right? I'm gonna take some side steps. So I'm gonna go one, two, step behind. Just going behind, I have to call these skaters, kind of like you're ice skating. If you're advanced, you can do it as a jump over. Allow it to stay low impact. I'm just going back and forth with the steps. Here we go, we're getting the blood flowing. We're getting the heart rate up, that's the most important thing. We're even gonna break a sweat. I know, it's a walking workout, but we're gonna break a sweat. All right, back to walking in place. Now we're gonna do high knees. I like to put my hands in front here so I can go right up like that. Dropping those knees up. There we go. So this is part of the workout. We already started, but it's also in sense to be warm up as well. We're getting the legs warmed up. We're getting the heart rate up, we're getting the blood flowing. Keep driving those high knees. Next, back to regular walking place. So here's where we pick up our speed, really start pumping those arms, really start getting the blood flowing, all right? And now we're gonna go into a slow run. So we're running in place again. If the, the running is a little bit too much, you can always walk. That's the baseline, so always go back to the walking if that feels best to you. We're gonna pump the arms, we're gonna get a little running in. And then we're going to mix it up. So let's go back to the walk. We're going to do 20 steps, and then we're going to do three skaters. So you go through, you're going to count in your own head. Do the 20 steps. And we're doing one each side, two each side, three each side. Back to the 20 steps. So those are the two exercises. We're going to go back and forth for a good minute here. Alternate between the two. So get your 20 steps in, and then your skaters. So you swing those arms, get that upper body loosen up as well, after the 20. And you can do running here if you want to. If you want to pick it up, you can run. But this is a walking workout. We're keeping it low impact, so I'm going to stick with the walking. All right, we have about 30 more seconds here. Remember, you're doing 20, and then three. So a lot of times I get asked, who are these workouts for? Who should be doing these walking workouts? Well, everybody should be doing them. They're very effective, but they work, they work really well for people who are looking to get back into exercise. Who maybe haven't been physically active in a couple months, or even a couple years. And they want a way to get back into it, but they don't want to go to a gym. They don't want a bunch of strangers looking at them while they're working out. They don't want to do a bunch of heavy lifting or a bunch of cardio because it you know, wears on your knees. and Wears on your ankles and your joints. This is a great way to get back into it. And you can do it right at home. All right, now we're gonna switch things up. We're gonna do butt kicks. I'm gonna go to the side here. We're kicking our heels up towards our butt. There we go. So this one, a little bit more difficult. So you're not gonna be able to go as fast. That's perfectly fine. Don't worry, we'll get our steps in. We're going to keep cranking it up. we got 7 minutes and 10 seconds left in the workout. So we're doing the butt kicks to high knees. Now we're doing high knees. We're going to switch between the two. So you're going to do 10 butt kicks and then 10 high knees. So let's start back. Count on your own. It's 10 each leg. I'm going to try and remember to count while I'm talking to you. Can't promise my numbers will be exact. But hey, it doesn't really matter. We're just getting a good workout in anyways. And now 10 high knees. So we'll do a couple more rounds of this, and then we'll switch it up. So I love doing these super short, you know, 11, 10 minute workouts. First, because no matter how busy you are, you can find 10 minutes. And that's what I really want to encourage uh, about you today is, we tend to put other people ahead of ourselves. We tend to put our kids first, our friends, our family members, even our coworkers, our bosses. And then we sacrifice and don't do the things we want to do. So if you want to get healthier, if you want the weight to come off, if you want to start burning fat, it's time to put yourself ahead of everybody else and find the time to take care of yourself 
Like working out with me. All right, now we're going to switch. We're going to go a little jogging in place. All right, we're picking up the speed. Again, we're not doing, you know, super kind of running here. We're just nice little choppy steps, pumping those on. Next, we're going to do some sliders. So we'll go for about another uh, 20 seconds here. Jogging those knees up. If you want to make this a little bit more advanced, reach those arms up nice and tall. I'm almost hitting my ceiling here. Engage that upper back. There we go. Keep pumping, we'll go about five more seconds. Here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do sliders. So we're gonna squat down. Steps to the side. Steps to the side. So this is the one where you're really gonna feel the burn. So based on where your current fitness level is, maybe you do two steps, stand up and walk in place for a little bit and shake it out. That's perfectly fine. But otherwise, we're gonna stay down nice and low. So keep that back flat, nice big steps. All right, now we're gonna switch it up. So we're gonna do 30 steps in place, and then back and forth with the side steps. So we're doing 30 here, pump those arms up. And once you get to 30, squat down, go to one side, back to the other. And then back to another 30, there we go. Hey, we only got four minutes and 41 seconds left in this workout. This thing is flying in by. There we go. You do the 30 steps, then we squat, step, step over, step over, and right back into the 30. If you can't squat down, that's perfectly fine, just take side steps on the side like this. That's perfectly fine too. All right, we'll do one more round of this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm breaking the sweat already. I'm gonna do the modified version here, and back here, all right. Now we're going to switch it up, go back to the skaters. Do a couple more of these. These are my favorite, they're the most fun, that's why I always go back to these. We can do a swing our arms now with them too. Get some upper body movement. Swing them back and forth, there we go. Now we're going to do a simple walk back and forth. So one, two, three, up, one, two, three, back. I'm going to do it this way. You can go back and forth, you can go any directions you want to. Just come back and forth. Now we're gonna modify it. We're gonna do a lunge. So a big step forward, other leg, and then we walk back and forth. So walk back and forth three times along with one lunge. So I got my walking back and forth. Now I go back to my lunge. So one big step, one big step, and we walk. Here we go. A lot of people ask me, you know, do these exercises, the walking, does it really burn fat? Does it really help you lose weight? And the answer is yes, but I'm not gonna lie to you. The most effective thing to burning fat are the foods you put into your mouth, which is why when you eat healthy, you can get away with just doing walking workouts and get amazing results. I see so many people at the gym trying to exercise the weight off and go on the treadmill for an hour because they can't control what they eat, so they try to burn off all these calories through exercise. It doesn't really work that way. As you can see, you probably tried before. When you, when you dial in the, the food that you eat and the weight that you eat, you can weigh with doing walking and get amazing results. I've heard stories of people losing over 100 pounds by walking around their kitchen table. Seriously. So yes, it is possible. All right, we're back to running. Let's pick it up. So yes, you can get awesome results, but if you're still eating the pizza, and the burgers, and the french fries, then no matter what exercise you do, it's not going to get you where you want to go. All right, I'm breaking the sweat. We only got a minute 50 left. Hey, buddy. Here's my son Adam coming in. You want to be part of the workout video? You don't got any pants on? That's okay. All right, step back and forth. I'm going to do some pop squats. We're going to squat down, jump in and up. There's my daughter Elena. She's still in her pajamas, that's okay. Hey honey, I'm doing a workout video. All right, now we walk. You wanna do it with me? We're walking in our nightgowns. So we walk, and then we squat down, and we jump in and out, and out. Squat down, in and out, and walk. Only a minute 13 left, and this is the reality. If you're a parent, you gotta find time to exercise, and sometimes your kids come in and do your workout, that's gonna happen, that's life. Nothing's perfect. Just 
keep going. I'm not gonna stop this video because I want the kids to work out with me, all right? Cut squat, jump in and out. All right, and walk. Now we're gonna do is we're gonna do jump rope without the jump rope. So, tiny little jumps. Like you're jumping like a little bunny rabbit. Now we're gonna jump rope again. If this is too hard for you, just do the walking in place. Always resort, uh, always resort back to the walking in place. Down to 37 seconds. All right, now we're gonna do some walking in place. We're gonna march, high knees. March, march, march. March, march, march. And now we're gonna lock our fingers together, put them behind our head. Prisoner march, engage that upper back as we march. 20 seconds left. We're gonna finish it out with some running. So 15 seconds, let's run in place. Pump those arms, get those extra steps in. Final 10 seconds. You're doing great, Elena. You're doing great at home. Here we go. In three, two, one, and rest. Woo! That was 11 minutes over a thousand steps. You did awesome. I'll see you at the next workout.